Usually, like a lot of comedians write jokes and they sit down and write them. I have to live them. I live in Venice Beach, California. Anybody ever been there? Been to Venice? 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 Very, very uh, fucked up place. This is the freak epicenter of the world. I mean, this, this, this makes New Orleans look normal. It's a beautiful, beautiful place, as you can see, with um, some of the residents are um, very friendly. Uh, what's the uh, best weed you guys have? Now over here, that's, that's where you buy crystal meth. Oh, there's my dog. Let's go see my dog. Really awful things happen to me all the time and then they develop into a joke. Yeah, this is the famous dog that eats condoms. It happened, it was a traumatic experience because I really thought my dog was gonna die. But of course, the next day, you know, I've got you know 10 minutes of material about it. Usually things that have happened to me have happened to other people. I went on the internet and Googled my dog ate a condom and there were like forums. Thousands of people were like, my dog ate a condom, my dog ate two. Mine likes them with dog food. I'm never the only one. So these jokes actually will hit like the masses and lie down. most people lie down. <laughs> will lie find down. one or two that they go, oh yeah, I've lie done down. that. Okay, go get me a beer. Go get me a beer. Go, get me a beer. Watch her, she'll come back. She usually gets the wrong kind. Hey! This is a true story. This is another one. <laughs> this is a really awful story. Yeah. Um, I was having sex with this girl and after we celebrated, that's what I call it when I have sex, uh, <laughs> it is, it's a celebration. And as soon as I come, I always yell, happy birthday! <laughs> because it is for the sperm. Uh, and then I take the condom off and it's straight to the funeral. Yeah, yeah. So I took the condom off. I threw it, I threw it in the trash can. I went back to bed. Two minutes later, I hear my dog go, <coughs> because she has asthma. I don't know what the fuck you people were thinking, but if you thought my dog ate a jizz-filled condom, well, you were right this time. My dog ate a condom and she's going, help. And I'm like, yo, you fucking did it. <laughs> so I panicked, I didn't know what to do, so I called the vet emergency hotline. And the vet goes, what's your emergency? And I'm like, uh, my dog ate a condom. And the vet goes, was it on you at the time? I'm like, no, and why does that matter? He goes, it doesn't, I was just curious. So then the vet goes, you've gotta get that out of there. Get the, how? He goes, take her outside, make sure she poops it out or she's gonna die. So I've got my dog outside going, drop it like it's hot. Drop it like it's hot. I'm in the middle of this dog park and I'm chasing her around going, come on, do it, you can do it. And I've never met a girl in the dog park ever and they're big pickup places, never met one. This day I meet a supermodel, a real live supermodel. She was, she was really a supermodel. She had on a cape and, uh, and she was like, how do you spell dog? And, uh, <laughs> And she was talking to me too. She's like, oh my God, you're funny. We should have sex. And, okay, she didn't say that. She was, she was like, get away, rapist. And uh, so while I was annoying her, my dog, or cock blocker as I call her now, cock blocker decides to come over and poop right in front of us. And I'm like, no, 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 no. And the dog starts pooping. I'm like, oh no. And because uh, um, I didn't want her to see. So I started trying to cause diversions. I'm like, look, it's a black albino. <laughs> which is just a white guy, uh, but it worked. She was looking and the dog's pooping and I'm like, oh no, nothing came out. So I'm like, whew, oh, thank God. Just when I think I'm in the clear, my dog looks over her shoulder at me and smiles. And I was like, no, no, no. And then she gave it one last push and I didn't mean for it to come out out loud, but I went, no! And when I tell you the condom came out, it didn't just flop out. It inflated like, <laughs> like one of those air dancers that you see outside at like a mattress factory sale. It's like <gasps> <laughs> and, it, and it was coming in and out like it was New Year's Eve. And she's, 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 she's got the noisemaker in her ass going wah, 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 wah. And then the dog starts panicking and doing 360s, trying to shake it out, causing even more of a spectacle. And now the whole park is seeing this and they're like, what are you gonna do, man? What are you gonna do? I'm in a dilemma. Do I grab it and be the creepiest guy that's ever lived or do I fuck off and leave the dog for the shelter? And I love my dog, so I couldn't help it. I went in for it. I went to grab it, and I'll tell you, when you grab something disgusting, it's like when you drop your cell phone in a toilet and you've had to grab it, what do you do? What do you do? You grab, you close your eyes, and you scream. <laughs> and that's exactly what I did. I went, da! But for some reason, I lifted it above my head. So now I'm standing in the middle of the dog park like the Statue of Liberty, 
holding this jizz-filled shit-stained condom above my head with the entire park looking at me. And it was the most awkward moment of my entire life. And I think it was like the most awkward and worst thing I possibly could say, because the dog's laughing at me, everybody's staring at me, I look right at the supermodel and I go, oh this? Oh, oh, I don't use condoms. 